Gonna hit you right on the jet stream from the other side. Gonna hit you right on the jet stream in the ocean currents from the other side. Time, 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 time. Let's read a bedtime story today. It's been such a long time. I sure wish I was going all I ever wanted. Let's have you Bechtel triple liners. Price Anderson coffee. Can't you see? Climbing to the top of the company ladder. I hope it doesn't take too long. Can't you see? There'll come a day. So, without your glasses, I lost my glasses again. You got your, this is an important photograph. That's 2011, January. I shoveled snow in Soho. God, that blizzard, that freaking winter. Three days later, I'm shoveling snow here in Snow, Utah. Record snow, it flooded here. Right behind my house isn't the Great Salt Lake. I literally grew up on the Great Salt Lake. Literally, literally grew up on the Great Salt Lake. Literally. You don't think this is heartbreaking? funeral for a friend to watch her go is I did hundreds if not thousands of videos I'm not a podcaster though I've had podcasts you know I think about Jules used to constantly her and Ratchet were all over me come on Kev come on I'm sick I'm full of cancer you know before I got cancer in the fall of 2011 I don't eat sleep drink this journey I literally sleep with it Given two months to live. It's coming up on that infamous day. Day 4,000. <laughs> February 26, 2012. When everybody got together. Did the senses all over the world. And prayed for me. God I used to be all over. So called. Talk about the Pioneers podcast. You know. Coast to coast. Whoa. I remember driving through the desert in 2011. Me and this girl I was hanging with. In the middle of the night. You know how you can pick up radio all over and I'm like she says, oh my god she's going through the radio out in the desert we've been out at energy solutions protesting the Italian waste coming in Utah oh my god that sounds just like you and I'm like turn it back I says it is me gonna hit you right on so I wrote this on 10 10 10 let's hope I can read it I don't have my glasses I lose more pairs of glasses I don't know. I don't know chemo brains. My book I wrote on 10. I punched the last stroke on 10, 10, 10. I see post ignorance as a pure art movement in the concept of art itself, in the concept of culture, in the concept that people are culture, in the concept that the inspiration and the influence of the great historical artist Van Gogh on Malay, like Pollock's reference to Kandinsky, like Monet's to the sunlight, dawn, winter, fall, summer, spring. It is influenced by the involvement of the time. I look at culture, art through the Arabs today, economic theory, popular culture, art of more reality, the lack thereof art, the mind for some the mind of seeing when others, for some uncognitive reason, do not see. Everyone saw light for millenniums. Everyone saw a single, simple line millenniums. Everyone saw eclectic color for millenniums. It is more per se than the artist Monet saw the light. Millet saw the struggle. Van Gogh saw the, the line. Smithson saw the simplicity of the line and the shape against the landscape. Kaninsky saw the election of colors and shape. Pollock saw the color of dynamics in motion, but much more than that, they saw it decades ahead of the truth. Their minds saw the fact and truth. Their minds were strong enough to act upon what they understood when all others did not understand. Not yet. They had strong backs and knew how to work. They were the purification of ambition, intelligence, education, smooth over work. Spiral Jetty. I'm in the bone marrow. i got to get out to that jetty. My tootie mind was on fire. Those videos, I was looking through them. You'll never find another one. Those videos have got to be worth millions and millions. The lake at perfect. They're such an historical document. You know, 
was thinking about is I think I used to go off on my radio show before Fukushima on imperialism. They're getting it back. And everybody in New York, I want you to go for a walk over to Fort Greene Park right there. I lived in Fort Greene forever. Remember those great videos I used to always do in the park, you know, at the Opelous?